guys, welcome back to another video um, and in today's video um, I'm going to be talking about mites in rats. Um, so as you can probably tell, the camera quality has randomly just increased by quite a lot. And that is because today I got a new camera. I got the Sony ZV-1, which is like the vlogging, like, YouTuber camera designed for videos. And it is literally the most amazing camera ever. I've never had a good camera before, so I'm just like taking photos on it all day and stuff. So happily, we can say goodbye to all the terrible camera quality. And it's going to be nothing but HD videos from now on. Mm -hmm. Back to topic, I'm here today to talk about mites in rats. Now it's actually, it's really normal for rats to get mites. It doesn't mean that they're particularly dirty or gross or anything. They get mites like dogs do. I've done a lot of research on it and apparently rats actually have mites like most of the time, but it's only like certain reasons that they like flare up, but actually they have mites all of the time and they're usually just harmless. Uh, so that's interesting. So I noticed on my boys, Shadow had quite a lot of like scabs, like scabs and wounds all over him and Polo had some as well and I was quite confused I was thinking like oh have they been fighting like I was getting really sad about it because obviously I've I paid a lot of money to get them neutered and I was like oh my god are they still fighting so what I did is I clipped all of their toenails just to make sure if they were fighting and the problem didn't seem to go away shadow was breaking out in more and more of these like scabs so I did a bit of research and realized that it's probably mites so mites are parasites just under their fur on their skin um, and you can't see them. Rats can get mice, lice and fleas and mites are the only ones that you can't see. So here are a couple ways that rats can get the mites in the first place. They can get it from like infested bedding or like unsanitary environment. Perhaps if you bought like bedding from a dodgy cellar and it's infested they can get it that way. They can also catch it from outside same way that like dogs and cats can. Also so as I mentioned before they actually have mites most of the time so when a rat is stressed or has a bad immune system if they're ill then this can cause a flare-up as well also for some reason if the rats aren't able to groom themselves properly then they won't be able to groom the mites away uh, so those are just a couple ways that rats can get mites so if you do think that your rats have mites it's nothing to be worried about at all it's very normal and they're very easy to treat I only had to treat my boys just one time and it just went away completely which is so good and a couple of the symptoms are how to tell if your rats do have mites is excessive itching, lots of scabbing, cuts and wounds as well. Unfortunately, some rats, if they're really irritable, they can like basically self harm and like just get all of the mites. Irritability, like restlessness, itching a lot, and skin inflammation. Yeah, my boys. It was only Shadow that had it. Only Shadow, he had scabbing and like wounds and stuff, but I couldn't see that they were excessively itching at all. So that's why I thought it was fighting at first, even though I never saw them fight. So it's not all of the symptoms, it doesn't have to be all of them. So these are the ways you can treat your rats if you have mites. So a product I use is Anti-Parasite Spot On by a company called Vifa. I think I'm saying that right. And um, for rats you want to get the ones that is for uh, rabbits, guinea pigs, ferrets and rats. Uh, you can also get one for hamsters as well. They're not different, they're basically the exact same thing. It's just the little pipettes inside are smaller yeah so they're smaller in the hamster one so obviously you don't want to put like the same amount as you would for a rabbit on a hamster if you know what i mean so if you have a rat that is under 300 grams uh you want to get the hamster one but rats unless they're babies should be above 300 grams the instructions are on the back um, and it's really, really easy to use. All you need to do is, like normal sized rats, you just need one pipette and you just twist it off at the top and um, sort of apply it to the back of their neck. I'm not exactly sure why it's the back of their neck. It might be because they can't reach this area. I think it's like that for dogs and cats as well. I'm not too sure as to why, but yeah, you just apply it on the back of their neck and just a warning it comes out quite quickly my sort of natural reaction is to like squeeze don't squeeze it just like it will sort of come out 
slowly on itself you need to apply it quite carefully underneath the fur yeah and the rats will be quite sticky and wet for a while so you're gonna have to keep them separately so that they don't groom each other groom all of the product off and then you just leave them and then that's it that's all you need to do and I did this a couple weeks ago and my rats have been completely fine since it's really easy to use and yeah that is the one that I would recommend if this doesn't work I would highly recommend going to a vet and getting professional opinion um, because there's only so much you can do if it's not working because you're not professional and yeah so I'm just gonna show you guys how I did it and um, yeah enjoy I decided to do this at a very late hour and I want to go to bed none of them are dry yet so I've had to split them all up which is really sad so I put shadow in here he'll be okay in here for the night he's probably just sad and confused I'm so sorry everything in here will smell like him and his brothers so he'll be alright for a night polo is in the bottom here this is Polo's quarters, I've given them all some food. And Taurus is up here. He's in the, the big suite, he's got all of this. <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, sadly Shadow is the odd one out. He is the one that I did last, so he has to stay in here. He'll be fine though. One night's alright, it's kind of sad, but like, I'm also, I'm liking the way my room feels with all of these cages. You can do it, buddy! Climb! Do you need some assistance? Go on! You can do it! You can do it in your other cage. You did it! Well done! If you thought this video was informative or you just enjoyed it please hit the like button and um, subscribe for more wholesome animal content see you next time